And if I told you once, I ain't gonna tell you twice. So, bro, what are you doing? Like, can you get get out the fridge, bro? Like, come on, man. I'm trying to start a video here. Salute all my real ones. Yeah, look, bro. We got how Justin Jefferson spent his first million dollars in the NFL. My first million from GQ Sports. Um, a few of these have been entertaining. I know I seen the the George Saint Pierre. Um, that one was really entertaining because like he spent most of his bread was spent smart, and some of it was spent on like dinosaur teeth or whatever the hell he wanted. But yeah, man, we about to get into the video. Like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Press those. Let's go. Let's go. NFL football player. I ain't have any jobs growing up. I was luckily the the one that have a uh, two good parents to to support me, so I didn't have to. I ain't have to go get a job. Go to my job every day and play football. <laughs> I'll take that every day. What's up, everybody? This is Justin Jefferson, and this is how I spent and saved my first million dollars. I'm from St. Rose, Louisiana, small town in Louisiana. Growing up, I just wanted to be playing either football, basketball. I played every sport besides soccer. Get an insight on everything, but I, I know. It's crazy. Like I feel like that's what every like every black dude and every dude like Spanish dude from the Caribbean. That's what we all say. Like yeah, I play every sport but soccer, golf, and tennis. Like you know what I'm saying? That's like the the. The normal answer. I knew I was going to be a football player. My two other brothers went to LSU, so, you know, me going to the to the LSU games at, at a young age, like 10 years old, it was just like a home for me. It was a no-brainer to go there. I wanted to weigh my options, uh, but, you know, LSU was my biggest offer, so it was like LSU or I'm going to go to the smaller school, so LSU every day. <laughs> there definitely was doubts my freshman year. Am I going to be able to play on a high level? Am I going to be that that uh, high caliber receiver. So from there on, I just grind, never stopped. <laughs> you know, it was the first ever draft to be held at home. So having all of my family members, all of the people that supported me my whole life to congratulate me and to be the first person in my family to get drafted and to be a first round draft pick at that. It was so special for everybody there. And uh, it was just an amazing experience and there's nothing I can take back for that. Since I got drafted, everybody was like, Dan, you gotta go to the cold. Dan, you gotta go to the cold. Nobody ever let me forget that I was going to the cold to Minnesota. I mean, to be honest, not that I had a, a year under my belt, it's really not that bad. It's, it doesn't get that cold during the season. You know, me just being all the way in Minnesota is still love coming from my community, even though they have a lot of Sinx fans. <laughs> it's definitely heartwarming to, you know, come back to a community with people that love you and that are excited for what you have. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that is powerful, just knowing that, you know what I'm saying, the people that are around you that love you actually got your back and support you. That's, you know what I'm saying? Like, that in itself, like, um, I don't know if it could help you perform on the field, but it could just make your life so much easier. Have, have to come. Now, yo, listen, man, I'll be on my stacking cash, saving money type shit. So this video, I'm going to let y'all know, like, if I see some fuckery, I'm going to call it out. Like, especially with NFL players, because your career could be so short. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to be smart about how you spend your money. Like, I don't know if y'all have seen the video with um, Marshawn Lynch, but he talked about the fact that all his bread that he made in the NFL, he never touched it. He just stacked that up. And I feel like all the NFL players need to do that just because, yo, the average career is like three, four years. So you get that bread. Like, if you want to be able to retire, you got to stack as much of it as possible. So I'm not, yo... I'm gonna go like I'm gonna go hard if I see some some something that just looks off to me. It's not counting pockets neither, it's just like common sense. To go to from a college kid that, you know, doesn't really ask for much, don't don't really buy much and then, you know, have millions of dollars in his bank account. It, it was crazy. What I'm so grateful for, I have family to, to guide me through all of that. Definitely had to go get a financial advisor, lawyer. I mean, but I'm not a, I'm not a big money spending person, so I know how to handle my money. 
<laughs> Being one of the top rookies in the league, you know, you have a lot of endorsements. Just keep on rolling through the endorsements, trying to get as much money as you can off of off of that, so you ain't gotta ever live off the game checks. Okay, we talk. Right. You see what I'm talking about? That that's 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 what you want to hear. That's what you want to see from anybody ever getting bread. Like if you getting multiple um, streams and income, like. Whatever the biggest one is or the main one, is if you could stack all of that or invest all of it while the rest of it is what you live off of and live below your means at that and not while out, like you're going to be straight. Talked about how we made and saved my money. Now let's talk about how I spent my money. No, I definitely had to get a little bling bling from, you know, I'll say about mm -hmm, 50 on jury. I had to get with Leo Frost um, in Houston. He did a lot of guys in, at LSU, and uh, you know we just built our con connection over time. We was thinking about a jet piece, uh, like while I was in college. So when I got to the NFL, I was able to to get the jet piece and pinky ring. You gotta go with the pinky ring. It's got a little index ring. It goes together perfectly. I think I'm gonna buy one more thing, and then after that, I'm not a big jury person. Like, I, I'll buy jury. Like, I like, I like, you know, how it looks. But after a while, I, I'm not too big on it. I just like the main pieces. You know, get what I gotta get, and I'm out. <laughs> jury, 50k. <laughs> Especially living in Minnesota from Louisiana, I definitely had to grab some more jackets, grab some more nice jeans and stuff like that. So my brother is a really big fashion guy. So uh, he definitely helped me out with some outfits and you know gave me some tips on what look good and what. What you think he gonna say? I'm gonna say 30. Don't look good. I, I have to say I spent about like 20K. I didn't shop that much growing up. Like, I, I didn't really have like a whole bunch of clothes, a whole bunch of shoes. I just wasn't that type of kid. I mostly played football, I mostly played sports. So as long as I got me some basketball shoes, some football cleats, some gloves, I was good to go. <laughs> Clothing, 20K. As soon as I figured out I was gonna be in the first round, I definitely had my eyes on the AMG Mercedes for a long time. And that was about, uh, wait, hold on, y'all gonna have to give me a second. About 150,000. I like cars, I like fancy cars, foreign cars. I definitely had to cop the Mercedes, I had to, that was a must. I got it wrapped, uh, matte black, windows black, pretty much blackout. Everybody called it the Batmobile, so. <laughs> I had to get snow tires. Crazy, crazy fact is, you know, I'm from Louisiana, it doesn't snow that much. I had to go outside and play in the snow, it was a must. So the first day I played in the snow, I lost my phone in the snow. Nobody expected it to snow this day. So uh, I didn't have snow tires on my car at this time. I tried to go to the mall or go to the Apple store to buy me a new new phone, but I couldn't even get out my neighborhood. I was spinning everywhere, it was, it was crazy. Yeah, I had to the next day. <laughs> Mercedes, 150,000. I bought a lot of shoes. A lot of shoes, a lot of shoes. The shoes has its own category, you know? <laughs> it's, it's just clothes and then it's shoes. Had to get the Dior's, that was a must. I had to got like other pairs of Dior's, Balenciaga's. I had some new George's that came out. I had got a lot of stuff actually. Best pair of shoes that I've gotten. I'm a big Dior guy. I like Dior Chucks, so I'll have to say the Chucks. This is only the start. This is only the start. It's only gonna get bigger and bigger, better and better. <laughs> Shoes, 10K. Christmas, Christmas, probably a total of probably like 10. My family don't ask for a lot. <laughs> I got uh, my mom, uh, like purse, you know, clothes, shoes, jerseys, tickets. Actually, my brothers didn't really ask for much. That was crazy. Me getting drafted, me having the season that I had was pretty much everybody's Christmas. And then we played the Saints on Christmas Day. Everybody was more into that more than just, you know, the tradition of Christmas. It was in New Orleans. So everybody stayed in Louisiana. Everybody was everybody was in, in the dome uh, Christmas Day. First Christmas with the family, 10K.
I got a, a townhouse in Minnesota. And hold on, y'all have to give me a minute on this one. Well, that leads me back to having supportive uh, parents that that knows a lot, walking me through everything, uh, whether I should rent a place or if I should buy a place. I also have a dog too, so condo would have been too small for my dog. They thought it was gonna be a great idea if I bought a place instead of renting one. So we bought like a, a place like four minutes from the facility. So it was definitely easy to get around in the snow and everything during the season. First Minnesota house, 405,000. My mom, my mom is is the person for all of that. She loves doing all of that interior designing, loves decorating the house. She definitely did all of that. So that would probably be like another, probably like 20K. Interior design for the house, 20K. This is everything, man. This is everything. I did pretty good, didn't I? <laughs> I say I say about half of my money, so hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. The rest of my first million went to savings. I told I told you I'm I'm good. So look, I mean, if you think about it, like that's that's super impressive because it's like three thirty five went to savings, four went to went to a property. Like that four automatically include it should be included in the savings. You know what I'm saying so out of his first million like he said yo i told you how i say how, how i saved my money and how i got my money i'm gonna show you how i spent it and even though the million that he spent it was only like the only thing that you would have said yo you're bugging out would be maybe the jewelry right because that was 50 and maybe the whip but it's like in comparison like you know what i'm saying dave ramsey right like everybody watches dave ramsey he's like yo your your um you shouldn't have more than fifty percent of, of your yearly income in cars like you know what I'm saying and he makes more than three hundred and he put one fifty on the whip so now he's straight like you know what I'm saying like that's the stuff you want to see especially when it's somebody that's black or Latino you know what I'm saying you want to make sure that it's all people that you know what I'm saying stacking up their bread and saving it especially athletes you know because there's always been those those um stereotypes about it, you know what I'm saying? Buy mad jewelry, gaudy jewelry, la da la, and then you go broke. I don't know if y'all ever saw the ESPN 30 for 30 broke, but y'all can look that up on on YouTube. Just like type in 30 for 30 broke, you know what I'm saying? And you see like the wild stuff that dudes was doing with their bread and how they all regret it. But yeah, man, that's basically the video. My name is Rain. Catch you on the flip side. RCP salute. Wait for a dab on them.